Hey there, welcome back to Ashen Walls Minis. My name is Ash, and today we're gonna do some fun brickwork slash rockwork with egg cartons. I'm gonna start by breaking up the egg carton material and try to find big flat-ish areas that I can work with. I'm going to trim up the edges and make a big rectangle and then I'm going to cut strips out of that that are the width that I want my bricks to be. I find it a lot easier to get consistently sized bricks when I start with the width and then cut the short measurement if that makes sense. Gather them all up. It's a decent amount of bricks to start with. Don't mind the uh, rabbit scratches on my wrist. Some of my animals are jerks. To make the stonework that I'm going to incorporate with the bricks, I'm trying to cut, or not cut, I'm trying to tear organic round-ish shapes. Not worried too much about the size and shape right now because I can always adjust it, but just trying to get round-ish. So of course you could do just the rock work, like so, or you could do just brick work. I'm going to combine the two today, and then for some extra depth, I'm going to add pea gravel to the mix as well. They come in big bags from Home Depot, not too expensive, or you could pick up a few rocks outside when it's not winter. In order to show you a little bit better what's happening, I'm going to work on a small section and we're going to be gluing everything down with tacky glue. This is a small area that's actually going to be inserted into my dollhouse later, but it's much easier to see doing it like this. So I'm not applying glue to the entire surface because I am taking my time to position everything and I know that glue would end up drying if I glued the whole thing. So just start with your base layer and stagger the bricks as you go up in whatever pattern you feel like doing. On the particular egg cartons I used, there were two different textures. One side had the kind of mottled stone look to them and then the opposite side looked like it had been pressed into a cloth and you could see the, um, the fibers. And so I'm trying to use the side that looks more stone-like, but I'm sure I got some of the other ones in the mix. It's time to spice things up. I'm gonna add a round stone piece for my egg carton stone. And this will help me like choose the direction of the curved shapes that I want because I have some swoopy curvy patterns that I'm doing. And I like to base those curves around another object instead of just doing it randomly. Pea gravel is totally optional, but I like the little rocks jutting out from the surface. I think it makes things a little bit more visually interesting, so we're gonna do it. The tacky glue did a really good job of grabbing those heavy rocks and holding them in place while I'm working, because I'm really impatient, and if I used 
a different sort of glue, I would actually have to set this down and not work on it until those rocks were finished glued. So, tacky glue for the win. So yeah, lots of uh, piecing together patterns and playing and adding different textures here and there. Side note, one of my more skittish rabbits is having some playpen time next to me while I do this. And she's being really good about not tossing her paper bag around and making a ton of noise. I'm really proud of her right now. So I'm not going to lie, this is a long project, especially if you're doing a full wall like I ended up doing. It takes a minute to get all the pieces in place and figured out, but I think the effect is totally worth it. I'm trimming up my edge bricks after the fact on this one. On some pieces, you'll have to do it before you lay them, but I can actually pick this one up, so I'm doing it after because I'm lazy. Before I add any sort of grout to this, I have to seal it. So I am using matte varnish, tacky glue, and a little bit of black paint to create a tinted sealant because I tried doing the grout first and the egg carton lakes to uh, flake and peel apart. So this helps prevent some of that and you can be a little bit less gentle with the grout process. The varnish hardens the mixture, the glue, I mean, it's sticky. It's, it's glue. It's going to glue the layers on the side of the bricks together. And I'm tinting it because I have to paint these anyways for my project and this is going to double as my base coat. So I'm going to really work it into the surface, getting all the nooks and crannies so that you don't have bits of raw paper showing through anywhere. And because I do want to get it into the edges of the bricks and really overbrush it so that I'm not getting globs on any of my surfaces because I don't want to lose that texture. That would be really sad. I've also found that working with multiple materials to create my texture, the rocks and the egg carton, doing one base layer paint for all of them really helps unify them because if I were to just do my finishing colors on top of them, there's nothing really tying them together. So by painting them all black at the start, they are visually unified and will look more cohesive. So when this is finished, 
actually do have to set it down and let it dry, which is really sad for me because I am so impatient and want to do the whole project right now. But next up, I'm going to be doing the grout. So I do actually need this layer to be fully dried and cured. So go watch an episode of Star Trek or something. I'm going to use wood filler because it's about to go bad if I don't use it all. And this works. Other things could also work, but this is what I'm using. I'm using a small spatula type clay tool to really smush it into every nook and cranny. Get it everywhere. And don't worry about it on your surface because we're going to wash that off in a minute. Also, can I just add, I'm working very hard not to use my fingers here and actually use a tool because my first instinct is always to just use my hands and trying really hard to get away from that habit. So while I'm sure the wood filler is non toxic and I could, I'm practicing and I'm really proud of myself. My first cleaning is with a wet paintbrush, and I'm going to go over that with a black sponge brush to finish wiping away all of the excess and also add a little bit of texture to the wood filler. And once that's dry, I'm able to glue it into the spot where it belongs in my dollhouse. Some bricks are being applied directly to the walls. Others are being applied in little tiles like this. And it's really hard to do the grout work in all of these little corners, but worth it. I will be adding some layers of paint to this in the future and I'll share a video of that process as well. But here is our tinted brickwork. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave me a comment below. Have an awesome day. Bye. I need to take my glasses off. I always forget that.